Houston, major dangers for the U.S. Gulf Coast area loomed after an explosion at a Texas chemical plant early Thursday and the threat of major flooding further east near the Texas-Louisiana line as Harvey's floodwaters began receding in the Houston area after five days of torrential rain. Beaumont and Port Arthur, Texas struggled with rising water as the area was pounded with what remained of the weakening storm, while Houston's fire department said it would begin a block-by-block -block search Thursday of thousands of flooded homes. Assistant Fire Chief Richard Mann said the searches were to ensure no people were left behind. The confirmed death toll climbed to at least 31, including six family members, four of them children whose bodies were pulled Wednesday from a van that had been swept off a Houston bridge into a bayou. Unfortunately, it seems that our worst thoughts are being realized, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said after the van that disappeared over the weekend was found in 10 feet of muddy water. The Houston area chemical plant that lost power after Harvey engulfed the area in extensive floods was rocked by two explosions early Thursday, the plant's operator said. The Arkema Incorporated plant had been left without refrigeration for chemicals that become volatile as the temperature rises. The Harris County Sheriff's Office said in a tweet that a deputy was taken to the hospital after inhaling fumes. Nine other deputies drove themselves to the hospital as a precaution. The company shut down the Crosby site before Harvey made landfall last week, but a crew of 11 had stayed behind. That group was removed and residents living within a 1.5 mile. 2.4 km, radius were told to evacuate Tuesday after the plant lost power. Another threat was emerging east of Houston where weather conditions deteriorated close to the Louisiana line. Beaumont and Port Arthur worked to evacuate residents after Harvey completed a U turn in the Gulf of Mexico and rolled ashore early Wednesday for the second time in six days. It hit southwestern Louisiana as a tropical storm with heavy rain and winds of 45 miles per hour. When Harvey paid its return visit to land, it hit near Cameron, Louisiana, about 45 miles from Port Arthur. Port Arthur found itself increasingly isolated as floodwaters swamped most major roads out of the city. More than 500 people, along with dozens of dogs, cats, a lizard, and a monkey, took shelter at the Maxville Bowling Alley in the city said the establishment's general manager, Jeff Tolliver. The monkey was a little surprising, but we're trying to help, he said. Floodwaters also toppled two oil storage tanks in South Texas, spilling almost 30,000 gallons of crude. It was not immediately clear if any of the spilled oil was recovered. More damage to the oil industry infrastructure is expected to emerge as floodwaters recede. Dot forecasters downgraded Harvey to a tropical depression late Wednesday from a tropical storm but it still has lots of rain and potential damage to spread, with 4 to 8 inches, 10 to 20 centimeters, forecast from the Louisiana-Texas line into Tennessee and Kentucky through Friday. Some spots make it as much as a foot, raising the risk of more flooding. Dot for much of the Houston area. Forecasters said the rain is pretty much over. We have good news, said Jeff Lindner, a meteorologist with the Harris County Flood Control District. The water levels are going down. Houston's two major airports were up and running again Wednesday. Officials said they were resuming limited bus and light rail service as well as trash pickup. At Herman Park, south of downtown, children glided by in strollers and wagons. Joggers took in midday runs and couples walked beside cascading fountains and beneath the sparkling sun. People pulled in to drive through restaurants and emerged from a store with groceries. At the same time, many thousands of Houston area homes are underwater and could stay that way for days or weeks. And Lindner cautioned that homes near at least one swollen bayou could still get flooded. Officials said 911 centers in the Houston area are getting more than 1,000 calls an hour from people seeking help. Altogether, more than 1,000 homes in Texas were destroyed and close to 50,000 damaged, and over 32,000 people were in shelters across the state, emergency officials reported. About 10,000 more National Guard troops are being deployed to Texas bringing the total to 24,000, Governor Greg Abbott said. In Orange, Texas, about 30 miles east of Beaumont, residents of a retirement home surrounded by thigh deep water were rescued by National Guardsmen and wildlife officers, who carried them from the second floor and put them aboard an airboat. Harvey initially came ashore as a Category 4 hurricane in Texas on Friday, 
then went back out to sea and lingered off the coast as a tropical storm for days, inundating flood-prone Houston. Harvey's five straight days of rain totaled close to 52 inches, the heaviest ropey.